This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our griefs and needs he shall bear for us. I am sister, servant, prophetess, Michelle Mills Parker. I hail from the beautiful Turks and Caicos Islands, Grand Turk. Turks and Caicos, I love you, but Jesus loves you best. Turks and Caicos, I cry for you. I pray for you. I want you to know that Jesus loves you more than ever. I admonish you today that you put your trust in the Almighty God. And today when we look around and see what's happening in our world, in our region, in the Turks and Caicos Islands, I'm going to tell you the basic fundamentals is that you have taken the Ten Commandments for granted. So today I declare and decree that you seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Turks and Caicos Islands, you are a gem of the Caribbean. You are a gem to the world. But you got to realize who brought us this far? Who brought us this far? It was God alone. So I say to you, Turks and Caicos Islands, go back to basic. Parents, fathers, mothers, children, nation leaders the body of christ go back to the ten commandments god is saying to you today you shall have no other gods before him and we know the word of god in exodus chapter 20. god simply pour out the ten commandments to moses his servant man and today god is pouring out his ten commandments to his child and to his people right here at this hour there is no mistake there is no mistake. Today, young people, young men and young women, the Ten Commandments admonish us. Thou shalt have no other gods before him. When you put gods before God, the God of Abraham, the God of Israel, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the God of Deborah, the God of Esther, the God of Hannah, the prophetess who waited in lament to see the Son of God when he came into this world over 2,000 years ago, the God of Michelle Mills Parker, the God of this apostle, great man of God, Ben Rico Hannah, and his beautiful, lovely wife, prophetess Hannah, I say to you, you are in for rude awakening Turks and Caicos Islands. If you don't go back to basic, God is gonna move. I know that you've heard many prophecies, but I am only a humble servant of the Lord today. And I'm telling you, I plead for you, I plead for you young people, please obey your parents. You wonder why so much trouble is in the land? You wonder why there is so much torment and crime? Because you have forsaken the Ten Commandments. You have forsaken, thou shalt not have no other gods before him. He is a jealous God. If we put houses and land, materialism in the front of God, he is a jealous God. You cannot even put husband and wife before God. You cannot even put children before God. So today I say to you as a humble servant of God, get back to basic Turks and Caicos. The Bahamas, get back to basic. Go back to what thus say the Lord. Respect the Ten Commandments. Honor thy mother and thy father. Also love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus taught us that greatest commandment is to love our neighbors. We are so bad minded. We pull down one another. But I say to you, who am I? I am a child of God. And I declare to you, Turks and Caicos Islands, this is the day that the Lord has made. Young men, I am praying for you. Young women, I am praying for you. Leaders of this nation, get back to basic. Stop playing with the lives of our young people in this land. Stop playing with the lives of the future of this nation. But come with me. I declare and decree that God will take preeminence in this nation. This country shall not suffer under the hands of witchcraft. This country shall not suffer under the hands of black magic. This country shall not suffer under the hands of the old bear priests. Wherever you come from, if you come from the bottom of pits of hell today, I serve you notice. Your kingdom shall be burned by the remnant seed of the fire of the Holy Ghost. So today, Turks and Caicos Islands, I admonish you, 
trust God. Put it in his hands. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. There are so many people hurting in this little Turks and Caicos Islands. They are dying. This is not quite even January, the end of January. And I'm certain we have already had three murders here in this nation. This beautiful by nature Turks and Caicos Islands. Turks and Caicos, the enemy wants to sip us like wheat. But I command Pharaoh to take his hands off of this nation. I declare and decree that the Joshua shall arise, the Deborah shall arise, the children who love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, not only with all thine heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul. I'm praying for you Turks and Caicos Islands. Young people, you are the salt of the earth. And I declare and decree today, come with me in spite of all the challenges that you might be going through. Some of you might be feeling as if you have nowhere to turn. You might be feeling as if you're hopeless, but I'm telling you today that your hope must be in Jesus Christ, the savior of this world. Time is short, time is short. Today is not promised. Tomorrow is even not promised. So now is the acceptable time. So under the sound of my voice today, as we look to the hills from whence cometh our help, our help cometh from the Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and yes, the God of Michelle Mills Walker. I am so burdened for this nation, but I stand on the grounds as a servant of the Lord. I'm gonna stand as a prayer warrior. I don't care. I'm not afraid of the witches. I'm not afraid of the warlocks. I'm not afraid of any demonic spirit or any evil altar that has been erected. I come to let you know that it shall be destroyed and under the rams of the spirit of the Lord today, there is no weapon that form against this nation shall prosper. Any tongue that raises up in judgment, it shall be condemned. Last but not least, my concern is for those who are hurting right now, the bereaved. My prayer are with you, mother and father. My prayer is with you, young man, who think that it's okay to be cool with a gun in your hand. But let me tell you something. Put that gun down and put the word of God, the Bible in your hand. You will never regret it. You will never regret it. Young woman, I speak to you. You do not need to sell your body. You don't need to sell your body. There's no price tag on you. You are more than conquerors. So it's my humble prayer. And as I exhort the Turks and Caicos Islands today, and as I exhort the nation, and also the nations of the world, it's time to get back to basic. Get the Ten Commandments in your life. Parents, teach it to your children. Teach it to your children. Because when you commit these evil sins in our lives, we are not perfect. Hey, I was a mess, but God turned my life into a message. So I'm telling you today, it starts in the home. Men and women of God, it starts in the home. Once you plant that seed, yes, they might stray, but I can assure you, they shall come back. So Turks and Caicos Islands, I love you. May God bless you and may God have mercy on us because of ever time that we need Jesus, it's now. Heavenly Father, as we come before you today, Lord, in this hour, in this hour that we need you more than ever, God, we ask you that your Holy Spirit will take preeminence over the regions, over the islands of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Mighty God, Jehovah God, the God of the Turks and Caicos Islands, I declare and decree today, God, that your mercies will fall upon us. Father God, today, have mercy on this nation, Turks and Caicos. God, have mercy on the leaders. Have mercy on the young people. Have mercy on the fathers and the mothers. Hallelujah. Mighty God, I come before you as a servant of the Most High God, asking you that you will pull down every stronghold in this Turks and Caicos Islands, that you will pull it down and set fire to the root of it. I declare and decree, O oh, merciful God, Father, the Father of Abraham, that these islands will rise up and bless your name. Jehovah God, hear my cry today. Hear my cry today for the Turks and Caicos. I declare and decree that God shall raise up men and women 
like the tools of generation with a strategic plan when the times are good not only when the times are good but also when the times are hard for the people Turks and Caicos Father have mercy on us we need you in this land God we need you God I pray for the sick and the shut in I pray for those elderly people who feel as if no one loves them sometimes they won't family forsake them Almighty God bring peace to the elderly the elderly who have toiled for this nation, who have beat rocks for this nation. Mighty God, Jehovah today, bring healing to their body. Mighty God, I pray for the parents of this nation today. Oh God, give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, I call on you, Jehovah God, the God of the sky, the God of the earth, the God of the ocean. I pray, oh God, for our leaders in this nation. I pray that they will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Father, today, bring peace to those who are hurting. Bring peace, O oh God, that surpasses all understanding. Mighty God, bring peace to the broken, to the wounded. Bring peace to the minds of the young men. Bring peace, O oh God. Hallelujah. Bring peace, oh God. Peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, as I stand today, I lift my hands to the hills from whence cometh our help. Turks and Caicos Islands, we need God. We need Him. And Father, I pray, oh God, for our children who are suffering. Some of them, oh God. They've been abused. They've been victimized. I pray, oh God, for the minds of our young men and women and all those who may feel as if they are hopeless. Mighty God, I lament for this country. God, as your child, I know, God, that you love us. But God, we have to love you first. Hallelujah. We have to love you for us, oh God. And as we stand today, under the sound of my voice, I declare and decree that this nation will turn back to God, the God who has brought us from a mighty long way, the God who is not like men and women, the God who shall never forsake us. Now, Turks and Caicos Islands, find your place, find your resting place, and God, I ask you one more time. Mighty God, Jehovah, I come against crime and violence. I come against evil altars. I come against crime and violence. Oh, Mama Korobosu. Holy Spirit, I come against the marine spirits. I come against the boat spirit. I come against the warlock spirit. I come against the opiate spirit. I come against the spirit of the Antichrist that has raised their heads. Now, mighty God, move in this land. Move, God, like you've never moved before. Move in simplicity. Move in sovereignty. That the people of this nation will take heed and that they will turn back to you, the God of a second chance. Mark my words today, Turks and Caicos Islands. We are under a great era. And yes, the storms, they shall come and the floods will be washing and there will be bodies floating. But if you get your life in order, and I ask God today to keep me at perfect peace. Father, right now, have your way. Have your way. Turks and Caicos, Psalm 68 say, let God arise and let his enemies be scared. This is my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeshua, our soon coming King. Amen. Amen. I am Michelle Mills Parker, prophetess, woman of God, and you're watching God's TV network right here in the beautiful Turks and Caicos Islands. God bless you. God bless you.